Hello, this is Training Center Yorktown with a video on how to change the oil in carrier 25 ton and 5 ton compressors. This video will generally follow maintenance procedure cards Alpha Charlie 11581 and Alpha Charlie 11503. Basic tools you will need to complete this maintenance will be a recovery machine, a scale, a non shat or recovery cylinder, gauge, drain pan, and extra hose. A basic outline of the maintenance we will complete is isolation of the compressor, a reduction of pressure inside the crankcase by recovering the refrigerant from the crankcase into a non shat recovery bottle. We will then use between 1 and 5 psi of remaining pressure to push the oil through the drain hose into the drain pan. For today's demonstration, we're going to be using the 5 ton compressor. We first start by isolating the compressor from the rest of the system. This is accomplished by front seating both the suction and the discharge service valves. A reminder, prior to removing service ports, all pack service valves must be in the back seated position. Safety and splash proof goggles shall be worn. We're now going to front seat both the suction and the discharge pack service valves. Before we start, we need to ensure we keep an accurate record of how much refrigerant we recover so that we may add it back after the maintenance is complete. I have already purged all of my hoses and we're ready to recover. The last thing I need to do is open my bottle and turn my recovery machine on. As you can see as we begin to reduce the pressure in the crankcase, Refrigerant that is trapped in the oil is going to begin flashing off. Periodically through this maintenance, you may need to recover a little bit more refrigerant out of the compressor to keep your crankcase pressure between 1 and 5 psi. I've now reached my goal of between 1 and 5 psi in the crankcase. Now that our system is recovered to the appropriate level, we're ready to go ahead and begin draining the oil. This is accomplished by hooking up a refrigerant hose to a valve that we've installed to make oil changes easier. Using a refrigeration hose with a valve on the end closest to the drain pan will assist you in maintaining control of how much oil is coming out. We're draining our oil and we're keeping our hose submerged below the oil level in the drain pan. This is to prevent any non-condensables from making their way back up the hose should we lose positive pressure in the crankcase. We will know we were done draining all the oil when we begin to get refrigerant to come out of the refrigerant hose. Now that I'm getting mostly vapor refrigerant out, I know that I've gotten all of the oil out of my system that I can. At this point, I can stop draining the oil by closing the valve going into the bottom of the compressor. Now that our recovery is complete, we're ready to add oil. A good practice would be if you removed oil that was acidic, to either flush your hose that you're going to use to add new oil with clean oil, or get a separate refrigeration hose. At this point, we're going to treat our oil just like we would treat our refrigerant, and we're going to purge all of the air out of the oil hose all the way up to the valve. We do this by cracking the valve at the compressor and allowing a small amount of oil to bleed out. Now that I've reached the appropriate oil level, I can go ahead and stop, close my valve, and I'm ready to disconnect my oil hose from the compressor. Now that my system's up and running, the last thing I need to do is add this 10 and a quarter ounces back into the system by charging to the suction side. All of my refrigerant that I recovered from the compressor has now been added. I've secured the bottle and I've back seated the suction service valve and I'm ready to disconnect the hose and put my system back in normal operation. A quick look as my system's running 
shows me that I've got a good running oil level. All the gas I've pulled out of the compressor is back in the system. My critical charge is unaffected and my system is running back to normal. Thank you for watching this best practice video on how to change oil in a carrier refrigeration compressor. Please visit the Mark 22 air conditioning and refrigeration webpage located on the portal where you'll find articles on various ACNR related issues. If there's any videos that you'd like to see, please leave a comment or contact any of the ACNR school staff at Trace in Yorktown.